Hi, I'm Chase Garbarino. And I'm Greg Gomer, and this is the Boston Obeat. Last week's episode kind of sucked, so we're going to try and bring the noise this week. You'll know in about five minutes. Well, obviously we're having some problem, and it sometimes happens with live television. Let's talk about Robocop. Oh, hell no. <laughs> we'll do it live. F*** it. The big one this week, huge one on Thursday, uh, Wayfair's initial public offering. The company was initially priced uh, to start trading at $29, uh, which would have brought in the company about $319 million in new funding. Uh, it opened at $36 a share, about a 24% pop. The company reports still currently about $51 million in loss on about $574 million in revenue. This was the first half of 2014. So this company's got a ton of potential, approaching profitability, huge. Yeah. Uh, the magic number here is $41.54. Uh, if the stock reaches that, exact. stays there, uh, Niraj Shah and Steve Conine, the two founders, will both on paper be billionaires. Huge. Uh, Huge. Great win for Boston, great win for those guys. This is a, uh, a pillar consumer tech company here in Boston, which many people have been calling for, uh, particularly Scotty. our friend Scotty. 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 Uh, so we're going to have to, we're going to get Scott on here in the coming weeks. We saw him this morning. Yeah, we saw him walking into TEDx, looked yeah. awesome. Uh, we're going to get awesome. him here and, uh, you know, see what he thinks. Awesome. Hot off the goss train this week. Early rumblings um, that Evertrue is out raising their Series B round, um, which is about right on timing wise. The last round they raised was in March of 2013. Uh, it was a little over $5 million, a Series A round. Um, Evertrue is a Techstars darling from 2011. Yeah, Evertrue is backed by Bain, who led the Series A. Uh, one of the few companies Bain is, uh, is top tier oh, VC, yeah. uh, I have no doubt that uh, Evertrue will be pretty successful in raising their B from people that I talk to, suggest the company's doing quite well. So um, it's hard to crack uh, the higher ed and prep school kind of nut in terms of selling software to these institutions, but once you're in, you're in. You're in. I will say, Brent Grin is doing some good things, but he's got to work on his slice off the tee. Yeah, well, that, that's, a lot of, that's a lot to move. He's a big guy, yeah. A bit of golf ball. Making moves this week, huge moves this week. The venture firm formerly known as Atlas Venture announced that they will be splitting into two different companies. This is huge news for the Boston community as the Atlas name has been big. And we do know that the life science team will be taking the Atlas brand. So the tech team will have to come up with a new name. So in order to help out our friends over at Atlas, formerly uh, Atlas, formerly known as Atlas, we solicited uh, feedback from our community to come up with some, some cool feedback. names. Yeah. So we got a lot of responses. We whittled it down to the four best. Four top. Uh, Mr. Clean Partners. Yep. I don't understand that one really. Something to do with that. Guns and Hoses, which I believe is a, a male joke. I don't, I don't know. That one was public, a lot of testosterone publicly over there. tweeted. Maybe that's uh, Guns and hoses. Let's keep it, it sounds nice, let's though. Let's keep it PG, folks. Sounds funny. Uh, the Ramones was submitted by our buddy, Scotty. Scotty. And I do like uh, the Ramones Venture yeah. uh, as a firm, not Ramones Ventures. Um, and Caillou Partners. Caillou Partners. As I have been informed. I don't informed. get that one. Uh, I guess it's a bald Canadian boy who explores the world. Is he bald, him. though? I think he might be. Is he little? Little kid. Little maybe like four years kid? old or something like that. Which is interesting. I'm just a kid who's four. Yeah, so I think we got four really solid options. I can't imagine that they would consider any names outside of these four. I, I'm really happy for you. I'm gonna let you finish. Uh, unwanted feedback this week from- A little aggressive. From David. Um, if we can understand it correctly. It's pretty brilliant. So I'm just gonna go ahead and read it word for word. All right. What's with not even thanks, Pitkin, for Elo invite? We need to support our local crazy Vermont hipsters. Not be all Decent. confused. It's an experiment that might or might not work, but at least it's not Uber for your dog walk or my current favorite one. leftover where you share you last bite of pizza via an anonymous local peer-to-peer -peer network with swiping cuddler style. I mean, the pizza one does sound good. I would love a bite of pizza. Uh, he makes a good point, um, so thank you. 
for the hello invite. Uh, appreciate that. And yes, I will say I was a little bit harsh on LO, um, but you know, it's a social network. I guess they're trying new things. Yes, if it, they called themselves Uber for Facebook, we might have been a little harsher. You're right, they have tremendous growth. They've raised some capital. They're doing good things. Uh, I think it sucks, and I would invest in Uber for your dog walk. What about the pizza one? <laughs> Once your pizza's delivered, have some fun with Miku. One more bit of news this week, huge news, coming out on Friday. The highly anticipated movie, Gone Girl, starring our man Ben Affleck, will be coming out in theaters. Rumors out that there'll be a little bit of a gong show from our friend Ben Affleck. A unique acting from one of his members. What? Uh, I believe what Greg is uh, citing is rumors that he does full frontal nudity. Gong show. Gong show, uh, apparently. Guns and hoses, gong show. That's two more references ever than we've had to the male anatomy. Look at the size of that thing. And people say there are too many men in technology. The Boston O gong show. Mm. Thanks for coming out. That's inappropriate. Lost in a gong show. Oh my god. <laughs> he looked, I he mean, looked he, looked, he looked just bananas good. <laughs> his muscles were swole. Just like raging through his shirt. Yeah. All he did this morning was buys and tries. <laughs> and it was apparent. Good. What did we just say? I don't really know. <laughs> And last but not least, the live performance. 